Hey, what's up? Eli here. Hope everyone's having a great day. I just wanted to jump on and quickly give you guys a little video training. In this training, I'm going to basically show you how to conduct some simple product research on Amazon and then how to use Amazon and actually find best sellers, i.e. proven to sell products and take what's working about their product descriptions and their listings and apply that into Shopify so you can literally model what works and you know for an absolute fact that this stuff is selling and that there's a market for it. So for this example, I've decided to model blue light blocking glasses. So typical good product, high margins, high perceived value. People usually will pay more for glasses as they want to protect their eyes, so forth. You look into the issues and you'll be able to see why people spend so much money on their eyes. Again, you only get one pair of these, so look after them. So. What I've gone ahead and done in terms of using Amazon for product research is I've just typed in blue light blocking glasses. So you're gonna type in the product that you're looking into and then what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to filter it. So you're gonna filter the results. So you can sort by featured, low to high price, high to low price or average customer review. What I typically do will sort by featured because it's Amazon's gonna be showing the, the preferred um, product listings up here as well. So. Another thing that I'd recommend doing is going into the listings uh, on the side here and then selecting a few things. So making sure that you're only looking at ones with high uh, product reviews. You're going to be going down and set the price of your product if you're looking to sell something like, say, blue light blocking glasses. Set it to be a bit more of a premium price point. That way you can see what's selling the best even at a more expensive price point. Um, so you can actually kind of see what's like, because obviously something about that listing is converting more than the cheaper ones. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of why you want to model their product descriptions. So I've just set some prices in here. Um, I'm going to look at new products as well, because uh, they're going to be like branded products. And then what we're going to go do is make sure that there's a bunch of listings. And then what you're going to do is you're going to look for a product that's got a large amount of orders and a large amount of reviews. So this one here is one that popped up, the Prospect blue light blocking glasses, dynamic, zero magnification, anti-blue light glasses, regular size. So what you can see here is that they've got a lot of reviews, like 7,500 reviews of four and a half stars, basically 4.6 stars. So obviously this is selling well. So what we can go ahead and do is open this up in a new tab. We can have a look at it. We can analyze the imagery that's being used, the branding, the packaging, the price point. Um, you can see through here, every every time you click on a different listing, you can see the prices. You can see the common questions as well in terms of answer questions, so that'll help you with your FAQs. Um, what you can then do is also go down here and look at that product description. So this is huge value because Amazon is very, very competitive from one listing to the next. Optimizing your sales page with EBC, enhanced brand content, and also using uh, comprehensive product descriptions is really the, the main way to stand out as well as obviously the visual element which is huge. So what you can go ahead and do and what I've demonstrated over here for you is I found a listing here for these yellow blue light blocking glasses as you can see here. So here they've got hundreds of uh, good reviews, they've got a nice solid description. If you go down you can see they've got a simple just enhanced brand content uh, sales page down here with the information, some imagery and everything like that. So what I've gone ahead and done is if I was looking at selling these blue light blocking glasses for say $55 or $60 or $70 on my Shopify store and I wasn't sure what to put in the description, I know that these listings here are getting hundreds and thousands of sales and they're getting sales every single day on Amazon. So there's obviously demand where people are wanting to buy these and it's the imagery and it's the product descriptions that are getting people keen to buy them. So what you can do is you can take that product description, you can copy it, go to a little Word document and then paste it in and then edit things like what I've done here. I've basically used what's already working from these product listings that I've just shown you and added it to my own e-commerce product description following the templates that I kind of give you inside the training as well. So you can see down here, I've just got a simple little summary up here. I've got a customer review up here. I've got some of the icons that I actually pulled from their brand website. So I found the listing on Amazon and I was like, hmm, let's have a look at that actual private label store or a store that sells them so we can see how they're marketing it when they've got more creative control. So you can see we've got cool icons here that we can kind of replicate. We've got the little summary of the product up here that I took and added uh, to the top here and then just reworded it a little bit, made it more impactful I guess and you can work on it even more I just made a little demonstration then you can add some social proof then you can add these icons into your actual Shopify page um, then I've just got the Amazon description here copied 
and then I've pasted it in here I've bolded the, the main titles made them a little bit more sexy and cool and then you can insert images like showing off the product showing gifts show a video show the packaging um, add more testimonials and then you've got a, a proven to convert sales page like it, you don't have to overcomplicate it as well as you don't want to have too little information that actually sells a product so many people make the mistake of just using the features and like the specifications of the product without actually talking about the benefits right so the reason that these are selling so well is that they don't just talk about features as you can see it's benefits like looks great on everyone reduce yellow tint lens width that's a specification reduce eye strain that's a benefit so you want to hammer in more on the benefits and specifications okay so that's what I've basically taken is I've found a very proven to sell highly lucrative profitable product on Amazon and we can go ahead and take that over to Shopify. How? We basically copy what they're doing, reword it, make it better, look for ways that we can improve upon what they've got, go find what's working for them on their private label brands. Simple, nice, clean imagery, shows measurements, shows people wearing the product, using the product in its ideal use case, as I've always talked about for years now. Um, and they've got a simple add to cart button, show delivery time. It doesn't take much to build a beautiful, simple website page like this as well. They've got the benefits. You, you guys can make something that's far better than this page here as well. This is very basic. Um, yeah, that's why you can flesh it out into a beautiful Shopify site using these kind of product descriptions that I just crafted here. Make uh, icons here that are aligned with your brand. Have social um, media content like UGC that people take, like photos of their product and you can add it in. Make sure you've got reviews, testimonials, show the product in its packaging, especially if you're private labeling. Um, and yeah, pretty much just really hammer in on all the benefits and sell with the, with the end benefit. But yeah, that's just how to use Amazon to do a little bit of product research, see kind of what volume's coming in. I've actually got another tool that's really, really exciting that I've just found um, that I'm going to be diving into in another video more in depth um, that shows you exactly how to track what's selling, how much exactly uh, revenue each Amazon product's making and how to take that over to Shopify and uh, run up your own private label brand doing that as well. Also, you can use that for Amazon if you do want to sell on Amazon. I'm actually getting started selling into Amazon myself as well just to diversify my income stream. So I'll definitely document more of that um, as we go and uh, build a couple businesses on there as well. But yeah, I hope you guys appreciate the little insight as to uh, basically how to get really solid product descriptions or at least a base to start off of and then you can flesh it out using like the the store itself and then also the amazon listing where the the most potent information is so yeah just put this little example together feel free to read it and check it out on the screen right now very simple very effective and with a beautiful site design and logo and everything you'll be ready to go hope you guys enjoy the video have a great week and i'll speak to you soon